Good morning. Welcome to week three. I know it's still technically week two, but I'm going to open week three. Uh, I know some of you want to work ahead a little bit if possible. So I'll try and open a few folders early. Uh, with that being said, I will still send out a weekly announcement video, uh, particularly related to the simulation and the results that you guys get so that you have updates on those. Uh, or if I'm seeing common mistakes or common like way to go moments in your decision making or your write ups, I'm going to share those with you guys too, so that you can continue on your path of success uh, as we get closer and closer to graduation. So in week three, I have you guys doing a few different activities. Uh, as well as assignments. So this week you'll be making your period two uh, simulation decisions. So you'll have your log of quarterly decisions as well as your five financial statements that you'll need to complete. Uh, you'll actually have to complete period one now that you'll have those results. Uh, those will roll over on the 21st. Uh, you do need to make all of your period two simulation decisions by Monday the 28th, uh, along with your regular decisions and your log of quarterly decisions that you'll make for period two, you're also gonna have a special decision this quarter. The special decision is related to security devices. Uh, so when you log into the simulation, you're gonna see a special decision option. Uh, with that special decision, you're gonna have seven different options to select from. You can um, select multiple of those. Um, your decision selection that you'll have, you'll have a shoplifting system that you could put in, a burglar, a burglar alarm, a fake warning sign, fake laser system, convex mirrors, two fake cameras, or two real cameras. Uh, so you could select all of them, you could select two or three of them, you could select one. It's really going to depend on your own preferences. Uh, when it comes to security decisions, uh, you are going to need to... Uh, do a write-up. There's a worksheet that could help you to uh, write your information in paragraph format. Uh, the easiest way to do your write-up is to explain that you're making a special decision for period two. The special decision is related to security cameras. Here are the options that I have. Uh, that could kind of be like your opener. And then in the next paragraph, uh, based on these options and the research, whatever research you do, cite it. Um, It'll be X, Y, Z. According to X, Y, Z, it was best to do option one, three, five, uh, whichever ones you select, and here's why. Uh, so tell me why you selected those based on your research. Um, and then you'll do a conclusion paragraph as well. Include a work cited uh, with those as well. Uh, so some things to consider while you're making your spe uh, special decision. Uh, which options, obviously, are you first going to select and why? Uh, what research leads you to select a burglar alarm, for example, over um, two fake cameras or also have a shoplifting system put in place? Uh, why would you pick one over the other? Does your product line also impact your decision? Does your location potentially impact your decision? Um, what level of expense do you need to be at? Um, and where does that fall into place when you're looking at risk management as a store owner? Uh, what warnings or do warnings of protection trigger crimes? Do they prevent crimes? Uh, those would be some potential things to research. Uh, should the business assume that the consumers are honest or should we assume that they're dishonest? Which approach should you take and why? Um, so those are some things to consider as you're doing your write-up. Again, make sure you're following the written assignment guidelines for the course. Uh, you'll cite an MLA citation. If all of your information as you're typing it up falls onto one page, uh, you can just include the works cited or work cited, depending on how many resources you have, right at the bottom of that written summary. That is perfectly fine. Uh, you don't need to create its own separate page uh, for the purpose of this assignment. Traditionally, you would, uh, but for this, you won't. Uh, when you're doing your write-ups, instead of following the template that's available for your written summary, where it includes your name, instructor's name, all of that, um, you can just include a header so that you're setting it up for your final project. Uh, so in your header, you need to include the period that we're in, the industry that your business is located in, 
Um, and then whatever this assignment is. So special decision security devices. Um, period two, industry. All of you guys are actually going to fall into industry one. Uh, it's the first time that I've had that happen. Usually you're split between two, but there's only 10 of you. So you all fall into the same industry. Uh, but if you include that header on all of your papers, you'll be setting it up for your final project in advance. Uh, so that's the simulation this week. You'll get your period one results back. You'll want to look at those uh, to maybe make some better decisions your uh, second go around, your second quarter here. In addition to that information that or decisions that you'll be making, you'll submit your quarter one log of quarterly decisions as well as financial portfolios. Uh, you'll submit that all into the same portal this week. You will, when you're in the simulation, potentially have to change back a quarter to get those results uh, so you can get the accurate information to put into your um, logs. Besides from your simulation, as far as other assignments this week, you do need to submit a summary of primary versus secondary research. Uh, so that is your week 3A1 primary versus secondary research assignment. Uh, you will go and find your favorite video related to primary versus secondary research. Find a video that explains the difference between the two. Uh, summarize why you like the video, why you would use primary over secondary research, how will that help you in both your simulation project and your business plan, uh, and summarize why you selected the video that you did. What made that the best video for explaining to you as a student? why you need to use primary versus secondary research or what the difference is. And then you'll just include a link to your video that you found. Uh, YouTube is generally a great place to find those videos. Uh, TED Talks could be a potential area or maybe one of your previous instructors has linked you to a video. Um, so you find the video that you like, uh, do that research, submit the link, and summarize what the difference is. This should help you as you're continuing to research for both your simulation and your business plan as we continue throughout the term. Uh, other assignments this week, you do have a discussion forum. It's going to take place on Flipgrid. Uh, so you'll have videos that you'll need to record and respond to one another. Uh, there is a five minute time limit max on those videos. They are closed captioned, so if you need closed captioning, you just need to click on the closed captioning option. They're not perfect by any means because it's just picking up the students uh, dialect they're not edited uh, specifically but they're pretty accurate um, so your flip grade discussion this week is going to be related to the Wisconsin Department of In Administration's Division of Intergovernmental Relations uh, Demographic Demographic Service Center uh, so you guys are going to look at information related to the population population projections for 2030 uh, the information that you'll find on the link or in the PDF is very detailed. Uh, it's statewide facts. Uh, it's going to give you information related to specific locations, uh, various different data points. It's 24 pages in length. Uh, so you need to go through the population data, find an area that interests you, uh, try and be unique, don't report on the same location as another student. So we'll have 10 different locations that are reported on. Uh, and then how, while you're looking at that information and the, those, those locations, how would you use that information when you're developing your business plan to develop your marketing portion of it or your marketing plan? All of you or most of you should have completed marketing principles at this point in your college education. So how can you use this information from the population, population projections in your business plan? Uh, how can you use it within your marketing plan? How does it relate? Uh, why, why is it important to look at population projections? Uh, why is it important to look at what the current population is? How does that relate to a business and why, why do we care? Why am I making you look at this? Why does it matter? Um, so I want you guys to explore that. You might have to do some additional research. You're going to present it in a video format this week. Uh, and then reply to two classmates. Remember again that your videos are due by Friday at 11.59 and your 
Reply posts are due by Monday at 11.59. If you guys have any questions related to the assignments this week, please reach out and let me know. Otherwise, have a great week three and watch for the announcement video that will help you to review your data related to quarter one.